I don't know if you realized, but I'm going grocery shopping. It's a sunny day in Berlin. I'm happy to be outside. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me to go grocery shopping. But the main point of the video is to show you how I disinfect stuff. So yeah, here we are in Berlin going to Reve right now and then to a Turkish market, which is just literally like two minute walk from my house, so... This is where I'm going. I'm pretty sure you can't see it. I literally look like a potato wrapped in a scarf. It's so funny. But what can you do? Like I tried to film there, but I, I just really wanted to get out of there ASAP because there were so many people in the store and it was just, you couldn't really physically keep like a 1.5 meter d distance. So I was like, just gotta get out of here fast and I didn't really have time to vlog, but I, I think I caught some moments. So yeah, now I'm going to the Turkish market, which is right across the street and people are looking at me like I'm crazy but you know gotta do it for the gram or for YouTube or whatever stuff I am going back home I mean, but it's just so crazy because I'm seeing so many people right now just hanging out and I'm just like I don't get it I don't get what they're doing it's just a bit weird that people don't care about this so we're finally at home and the first thing that I do when I get home is take off everything out of the pocket of my bomber and then put down the bag right on the floor because the bag is dirty either way so let's just put it on the floor take off my jacket and put it on a hanger and then take off everything and put it in the bin that you can't really see clearly right now but I'm going to show you in the next frame so I, everything that I wore outside I put in this bin for the sake of this video I wore like a t-shirt dress underneath so that I wouldn't be naked, but you get what I'm saying, right? So you put everything in a dirty pile, and then I have my inside clothes uh, on the chair, but first we have to, we have to, have to wash our hands. So let's do that right now. So, first we wet the hands, put on soap, then we Sing the song, count to 40, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I know you're tempted, but I urge you to not skip over this part. I sped it up, but not too much so that you can still clearly see what I'm doing because these are um, the WHO's recommendations on how to wash your hands in order to get everything off. So watch and learn kids please don't skip over because this is actually really really helpful and this is how you should do it um and now i'm going to put on my inside clothes finally and don't worry i checked like you can see me looking out the window before i took my shirt off so there were no neighbors outside my window okay so um you got the logic behind that, right? So when you first walk in, everything that you 
have on is dirty, so you first take off everything that's dirty, you wash your hands because only after you wash your hands are you allowed to touch your inside clothes. We're gonna get into the disinfecting of the stuff that we bought and yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm gonna bring the stuff here and show you what I do. with soap, the mangoes, same, wash with soap. 
So here's a little sped up video of me washing my fruits and vegetables, but meanwhile, I'm going to remind you of other things that you need to wipe down slash disinfect. For example, every single counter, I've already said that, but I'm just reminding you, your laptop and your floors, I do that once a day just to stay safe, and I would recommend you to do the same. your favorite TV show, take a nap, whatever, just take care of yourself because you really, um, we really did a lot to make sure that there's no corona in this house and I do this every single time I go out um, to the grocery store and I try to keep that down to once a week just to, you know, lower the risk of me being exposed to the virus and not that I'm scared of me getting it because I am young and I can take it, hopefully, but um, it's more about pr protecting others and making sure that the people who do need it get the help that they need because if all of us get sick, the hospitals get filled up and then the old people die, which is basically what's happening uh, in Italy and I'm not going to talk too much about this because Obviously, I'm not an expert, and obviously, everything that I said in this video or did in this video are just tips and are just my opinions and how I protect myself. And it's not, I'm not an expert in anything at all in life, so just take everything I say with a grain of salt. It's not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying this is the best way, I'm just saying this is my way and how I make sure I'm mentally and physically well during this weird time that we're all um, living in. Um, I can't guarantee that um, what I'm saying is gonna work. I'm just saying this is how I do it, this is how I'm helping myself and the people around me. So yeah, I don't wanna blabber on and make this video too long as I always do. I just really wanna stress that it's, 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 it's gonna be fine. Everything will be fine if we all work together, if we make sure to protect ourselves and make sure to stay at home as much as we can. I know it's a privilege. I know not many people can afford the luxury of just being at home and not working. And I don't mean those people. We just need to do everything. For now, we need to do everything to make sure that this is contained. And um, the sooner we all stay the fuck home, the sooner this will all be over. And it's really the thing that is bothering me the most I'm out here staying at home for three weeks already, just going to the grocery store, not even inviting people over at all. Like, I have this new house, no one's been here, none of my friends have been here. And then I see all these other people who are just out there living life as if everything is normal, and it's just so unfair. Because, because of those people who are living carelessly, that's how the virus spreads, and that's we're getting even more punished, like, then we have to stay home longer, so it's like, it's, it's, it's a really unfair time we're living in, and other than being unfair, it's also awful that people are dying, and I just urge every single one of you to rethink your decisions and think about every single thing and how it might affect other people and the world in general, and, um, yeah, we just all need to work together. You know, you know the virus doesn't know race, doesn't know money. Um, it doesn't care about anything. It's 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 not a privilege based um, virus as many things are in this world. And that's why I think it's really important for all of us to unite and fight it together. And the easiest thing, the easiest thing is just staying home. So please do it as much as you can and think about others because it's not about you being young and you can take it or whatever. It's 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 about the world, the, the whole world, the, the humanity. And to wrap this up on a good note, once this is all over, everything is gonna be changed. Nothing is gonna go back to normal because normality was not working for us. That it was 
corrupted. It was, you know, driven by money and not about being fair to people or being kind to people. So hopefully, to people and to nature also. So hopefully this um, pandemic like causes a paradigm shift and then we all realize, every single person in the world realizes that what's most important is nature, human connection, the relationships that we have with each other. Yes. This is really, I'm sorry, but it's really making me emotional just talk, sitting here talking about it. But once this is all over, we're gonna reevaluate everything and hopefully prioritize the things that really do matter the most, which is, again, human connection and nature. So um, I'm gonna leave you guys on that note. It, it is gonna be fine. We don't need to worry, we just need to make sure to do everything to protect ourselves and the people around us and the whole world. So um, I'm hoping to see you back here again because I'm gonna do a day in the life in quarantine next. Um, it's, it's gonna come very soon. That it's gonna be more tips on how to survive this quarantine in that video. And I hope this video helped someone uh, maybe you don't know how to do things, maybe you're not sure, maybe you just wanted some inspiration for someone to tell you like, yo, protect yourself, disinfect stuff because it is important. Something that is sitting at the store, maybe someone coughed on it, you never know what's happening. And the biggest problem is the people who don't know that have the virus, who have it, that's how it spreads. That's why you should not go to your best friend's house, that's why you should not, you should just stay the fuck home because you never know who has it and you never know who passes it on to you and then you go home to your grandmother and you pass it on to her. So, um, yeah, I don't mean to scare you, but just think about every single um, decision that you're making and think about how it affects the whole world globally. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and um,